In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Thomas is not mentioned beyond his name, while in the Gospel of John, his role dramatically changes. Thomas, the disciple of Jesus, is known for not believing that Jesus had risen from the dead until he physically saw him and declared in John 20 that Jesus was, quote, my Lord and my God. Thomas was an eyewitness to the risen Jesus according to the Gospel of John. The question we're looking at today is, was Thomas a martyr for the faith? So, according to Eastern tradition, Thomas was martyred in India proclaiming the gospel. The problem with proving this is that India did not have written history until around the 16th century when the Portuguese came. So there is only the oral traditions of the martyrdom of Thomas. So, even while history was not recorded in written form in India, India still preserved their history as stories that were passed down from generation to generation and carefully preserved. The so-called Thomas Christians in southern India hold strongly to the belief from their oral stories that Thomas had converted them and he became a martyr for the faith in India. There are good reasons to believe that this oral tradition is reliable. First off, why would there be this tradition about an apostle from a foreign land converting people to his faith if they didn't actually come? We don't see the Native Americans making up stories about foreigners coming to their lands and converting them to a different religion. Additionally, there are no competing traditions to this tradition of Thomas coming to India and evangelizing them and then becoming a martyr. As for the logistics of Thomas reaching India, it's entirely possible. There are many different trade routes which would give Thomas options for reaching India. The earliest source outside of the oral traditions for the martyrdom of Thomas come from the Acts of Thomas, written around 200 to 220 AD. This follows the story of Thomas' ministry. Some scholars see these acts as entirely fictional, while others see it as fictional with a historical core. There's good reason to believe that there is a historical core to the Acts of Thomas. In 1834, a collection of coins was found with the name Gondofares, and these coins were dated to the 1st century AD. The amazing thing is that Gondofares was also found in the Acts of Thomas, which contributes to the claim of it having a historical core because they mentioned this man, who was also found and confirmed in a different archaeological finding. With the historical core of the Acts of Thomas and the strong oral tradition coming out of the culture that didn't have written records, there is a very strong case that Thomas was a martyr. So thanks for listening, guys. I'm Zach. This is Adherent Apologetics. I hope you guys have a blessed day, and I just want you to know that God loves you.